Hi, welcome to my tutorial, uh, part two, uh, 84 combinations, four bars per mode, 12 major keys, seven modes, uh, I'm mostly using the caged uh, scale system, uh, guitar tutorial, and this is once again part two. So I'll just talk about uh, some of the resources that I have uh, linked below uh, the video in the description. So first off, I have the iReal Pro format. So, so if you want this backing track, uh, if you like the the chord changes, uh, and if you have iReal Pro, you can just you know either open it in your app, uh, iPhone, or you can copy the HTML code. Uh, it's it's in the Dropbox. Okay, then I also have a PDF of the chord chart. So in the chord chart, I talk about uh, you know, I show the chords that I'm playing. And I also talk about what mode this is in and what uh, what mode I'm using uh, in the parent scale, and then what the parent scale is. For example, like. Uh, uh, the fourth line, A minor to D minor, I'm calling that A Aeolian. So that's coming from the key of C. Or uh, uh, down a little bit further, G minor 7 to A minor 7th, I'm calling that G Dorian from the key of F. Okay, so um, 
Oh, and then I also have these uh, PDF of 84 combinations, seven modes, 12 keys, these note cards. I talked about those. I'll talk about those briefly. So it's just a, you can download the, 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 the sheet and then cut, them, you know, cut everything up into little uh, cards. I, I, don't, I forgot to get those out earlier, but you can make little note cards for yourself, and then you can make up random progressions for yourself. So, so these, all these different progressions that I'm going to be doing are all randomly selected. So you might notice that for whatever reason, this, this particular set, of chords uh, seven, uh, is a uh, progression is is a lot lot of Dorian and Aeolian there's only one Mixolydian and one Locrian so uh, uh, so so each one's going to be just randomly selected so this is a good this is a good way to kind of learn your keys and learn your modes and and things like that. Now, the other thing I have is I have different versions of the cage scale position. So uh, five scale positions, key of C. So then what you would have to do is you would have to just transpose those. So for example, like let's say for the A major seventh chord, so you would just take the, uh, the, the one starting from B and C, so that's a major scale. <laughs> in the in the, the the sheet and then if you want to do key of a you just move it down to here and then do the same fingering pattern so, so that's kind of what I was doing let me let me do one more here so let's say um, let's say C minor so C C minor is aeolian so then you would just go to the look where aeolian is so in the key of C aeolian is starting from a a b c d e f g a b c d e f g a b c and so on so then to do C minor you would just move up to here and do the same fingering pattern and so on so so that's kind of what I was doing in, in that second section of of, of the of the play along I was just playing playing the scale up improvising a little bit and then I was doing the ar the arpeggios the arpeggios I don't have written out I'll, I'll do a couple of them uh, during the t tutorial okay and then the last thing I have is just a PDF of uh, well, uh, the, the individual diagram so it's just like those uh, you know you know G key of C and I just have them on each on this on one page so you can you know you know, maybe print those out or, or you can have like a, a, a bigger reference bigger reference sheet now I also have a PDF of the modal pentatonic so I think that's a four page document so that just shows all the different modal pentatonics some of them will be more familiar than others for example the uh, the one I did for uh, for the a minor to D uh, this is just your standard uh, pentatonic that everybody would know so the first one would be G a C D E G a C D E G a C D E and then the next one I came down the scale uh, E uh, A C A G E D C A G E D C A G E D C okay so so those so I I kind of took advantage of that because of of the way this particular chord progression worked out I used a lot of a, a lot of those um, I'll do one more how about the one for G Dorian so G Dorian would just be sorry remember F G B flat C D F G B flat C D F G B flat C D so that's just G minor G minor pentatonic and then and then I came down the scale G F D C B flat G F D C B flat G F D C B flat so like I've said before in these so I'm giving you key of C and then it's up to you to to move them around to match this this progression however you want to do it uh, the nice thing about iReal Pro if you have iReal Pro you can just take like one one line at a time and just kind of practice over that uh, or two lines at a time so for example let's say I wanted to do uh, let's just say I wanted to do this um, let's say G minor Okay, so I'm using a little different sound. So in the beginning, I learned I had the, the black hearts, and I had a little bit more edgy sound. So all I'm going to do here is, is I'm, this is just the G minor to A minor. I'm just going to play that scale, and then I'll play this scale going down, and then I'll just improvise uh, a little bit uh, over this um, over this progression with, with the, the pentatonic. I just do just a couple quick uh, lists. So there, 
I did one of my my favorite licks. I've talked about this one before. This is from a this is a, a version of a Chitlin's Con Carney from a Stevie Ray Vaughan, Kenny Burrell. Uh, so if I'm here, uh, I'm going sliding up to the fifth of the of the scale, a half step, and then sliding down to the fourth, down to the C. So up up the scale, hit hit the seventh. Do, 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 do. I'll play that lick over. Here. So, so then, then all these modal pentatonics, you would just have to, you know, just trans, you know, transfer them along. I can't see if there's anything else I want to talk about modal pentatonics. Yeah, I do want to do, go off on a little bit of a tangent. I didn't do this in in the intro, but one of the things I thought about as I was getting this uh, video together was you can do what's called trans uh, transpositions of these. So um, let's see. I think for for D minor, I, I think I came up with a little bit of a lick here. So. So if I if I went uh, D minor, I have C D F G A. So that's D minor pentatonic. A third up from that is F major uh, F major pentatonic E F A B C. Okay, and then on the fifth of the scale would be A minor G A C D E. So then you could use those to improvise. And then I also came up with a little kind of jazzy look. So I'm I'm just going to play each of those over that D minor to E minor seventh uh, progression. Here's the D minor. F major seven. And then A minor, A minor seven. Now I'll go back to the F. So then uh, I just came up with a little a little lick as I was getting this together. Let me see if I can remember how this one goes. Okay, so, so there what I'm doing, I, I'm just adding in a, a note that's that is consonant with that second chord. So D C D F G A and then C D E. Okay, and then, then what I do is I, I just take that same uh, intervals and I just move it to the various pentatonics. So uh, F E E F E F A B C and then E F G. So that, and that lands on the on the E minor, the, the third of the E minor. I'll do it again. F E F A B C uh, E F G. Okay, and I do one more transposition uh, for the A minor pentatonic. A G A C D E G uh, G A B. So each each one of those landing points is the the root third and fifth of the next chord of, of the E minor seven. Uh, one more time, A G A C D E uh, G A B. Okay, so I'll, so I'll play that. I'll play it from the from here, and then from here, and then from here. All right, so, so then I would encourage you to just kind of take these modal pentatonics. So if, if you figure out a lick in one, then you can go up the third, up the fifth, and then you can create a harmony parts for yourself, or uh, just you can just kind of spin out some ideas. So uh, it'll probably take me a couple times to remember how this went, because I think it's, it's kind of fast the way I, I conceptualize this. So this is the D minor, the E minor, uh, and I'm just going to play this lick in three different places. <laughs> Okay, that's just 
just a couple couple ideas with the uh, with the modal pentatons with the with the transpositions. All right, uh, maybe I'll do let's see, maybe I'll do one more transposition. Uh, how about um, let's do maybe the the E minor E minor to A minor. Okay, so then so this is this is going to be uh, Aeolian. So my first one is going to be D E G A B. That'd be the first one. Okay, then based off of the off of the G, you're going to have G uh, F G B C D. So that's, because it's going to be an F because because you're, you're in the key of of uh, C. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That's it's key of G. My, my bad. So F uh, F G F F sharp G. Okay, and then here. Um, then it's uh, based off of B. A, B. Okay. Oh, you know what? I, actually, I think here, here's, here's an interesting thing. I'm glad that this happened. So here's a situation where you could probably use either. It would just be context contextual. So, so whether you thought of E minor to A minor, you could probably play Dorian or you could play... Um, natural minor. So let's hear what that sounds like. So I'll play and then I'll play the one starting from here and then I'll play so I'll play Aeolian with the F notes. Let's see what that sounds like. So off the E minor Sound too bad. So, so so let's let's see what happens if I if I substitute the F sharp for the F. That's the same. And then here. And then here. Okay. So, so you, once again, you, you're you're playing the modal pentatonic off of the the root, the third, and the fifth of that of that first. I'm just looking at, at the first chord as kind of like the key. So let's hear what that sounds like. So there's, I'm glad that that happened because there, there's a situation where sometimes certain chords and certain progressions you can kind of think of them as, as either key depending on what else is, is happening in the progression. All right, so, so that was transpositions, caged. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the arpeggios. I'm not going to do every single arpeggio. So I'll do, um, let's see, I'll just do this A major. So, so in, the, uh, in the original chord progression, I have A ma major 9 to A major 7. I'm just using major 7. So uh, the first one, A, C sharp, E, G sharp, A. And then, and then I'm choosing to go up to here, A, C sharp, E, G sharp, A. So, so if you look at this, so you're kind of going, to, when you go to this one, you're kind of going to the next uh, cage position. And then, right. Now, what I chose to do for today, because these videos get so long and there's so much material to, to cover, I decided not to do root five and root three, because there's just a lot more to do. But, but here, I'll just, just quickly talk about A, a C sharp, A, C sharp, E, G sharp. And then here, A, C sharp, E. Okay, so I'll put the track on and I'll do um, root five, root, root six, four, and then five, three, just to, just to show you. A major seven. Like maybe bends. And so on. All right, so that's a couple of arpeggios there. Let me pick out one where I did the triads. So, so what I just decided to do was just to do triads for the different. How about I'll just pick out. Um, 
how about how about the C uh, C minor to F minor? Okay, so then here I have C E flat G, and then F A flat C, and then for the next octave C E flat G, and then F A flat C, and then what I did today in, in, in the demonstration and also I, I did in the other videos is sometimes I'll do half step slide it in, 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 into either the root or into the fifth and then the same thing here C in, uh, half step into the root or uh, into the fifth all right, so that's uh, and so then what happens? The interesting thing about the guitar, and this is what makes the guitar really challenging to learn, is there's a lot of different places to play the same thing. So, for example, here uh, for the C minor, F minor, you could also play here C E flat G, F A flat C. So that makes the guitar a much more interesting instrument, interesting. Uh, and challenging to play as opposed to say a piano where your notes are sort of in the same spot all the time Now of course you can use different fingerings. Okay, so, so let me just do a little bit of that So I'll just do a little bit of the C to F C to F and um, I won't do the uh, root 5 or 3 here we go And, and backwards, a lot, a lot of different things that you, you can do there. Okay, so that was caged, some modal pentatonics, some transpositions. Like I said, I'm going to skip the root 5, root 3. Uh, maybe I'll just talk a little bit about what I did for that jam track. If you, if you look at the, uh, the, the jam track uh, I published uh, recently, uh, I'll just talk about a couple of the devices that I use there. Uh, so one of the things was on these Dorian vamps, like for example, uh, like the F minor to G minor, I did F minor 7th, and I did G minor 7th, then I did an A flat chord, and then a B flat chord. Okay, then I continued up, a, a F minor 7th chord, G minor 7th chord, and then I just did a standard bar chord here, A flat, and then B flat. Okay, so that was a that was a, a typical device. I think I did that one on for the uh, F minor, and then for the G minor, I did the same thing. G minor seven, A minor seven. Then I did a B flat triad, and then a C. And I did G minor minor seventh chord, A minor seventh chord, B flat uh, bar chord, and then C. So, so that was just a couple devices. So maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and play. I'll play the. Uh, each of those a uh, couple times, so F minor. So I think on the, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go go ahead and throw in the small stone. This is the Russian made sm small stone. That's just a really really cool sound. I like I like that a lot. But what does that sound like? It kind of sounds a little bit like Earth, Wind, and Fire or something. Okay, so I'll, I'll play through the F minor to G minor with these chords. One more time. I'll do the same thing for the for the G minor to A minor. Okay, so same idea. So I'm doing something a little subtle here. So what I decided to do is whenever I play a chord that has the root in it in the bass, I hit that on the downbeat of the track. If if a chord has like the third, like here has the, the seventh or the third, then I wait like a half beat to put that in. So just just try to notice that. Uh, so that little subtle subtle thing that I thought worked a little bit better. So G minor to A minor. Dorian, and I'm just pulling out chords from the from the key of uh, so Dorian would be key of uh, F.
couple a couple devices there. Then uh, let me just, I'll, I'll do maybe another one because I because I like chords a lot. I mean that was a lot of my uh, my career uh, it, when I was a. Uh, Younger, I used to do a lot of coffee houses. Played a lot of, lot, you know, a lot of those uh, kind of Cat Stevens, and you know, played a lot of chords. Played a lot of almost, almost exclusively acoustic in the '70s. We, you know, uh, my roommate and I, we did a lot of, uh, you know, the, the local coffee houses. So we played a lot of chords, and then you know, learning a jazz guitar. You know, played a lot of chords. I was uh, backing up uh, some really excellent uh, sax players. <laughs> so I wasn't very good at soloing. So they were really good at soloing. So I kind of learned a lot with my chords. And then if you look on my channel, a lot of chords melody stuff so I'll go ahead and do a minor to D minor so so what I decided to do with with that uh, with that jam track is I try to make it almost like a little bit of a chord tutorial to, to try to do different kinds of versions of, of course so here I start off a minor just standard a minor chord and a standard D minor chord then I think I went up to here just like the a, a minor chord from so stairway a C E G A and then DFA with the low, so notice what I'm doing, I'm taking advantage of the open strings. I just, I just like that sound. And then I think I went to something like uh, a, a C, A, C, C, E, A, and I let that high E ring through. And then I think I went to maybe this chord, uh, uh, maybe here, D, F, A, D. I don't think I went any further. And I think I also might have done this chord here. That's, that's, a, that's a nice chord there. A, A, D, F. Do, 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 do. What is that? Kind of a, kind of sounds like some of those progressive rock, maybe like a King Crimson or something like that. Okay, I'll just play through that with the different uh, inversions. Also use the, that's kind of a nice sound too for the D minor F A D. All right, that sounds good, especially like you have your bass player playing the the root there. Okay, I think I'll start wrapping this up. So I, co I covered the modal pentatonics. I did some transpositions. I did the root six, root five. I talked a little bit about the arpeggios. I talked a little bit about about the rhythm part that I played for the for the jam track. There's some, some things I wanted to do. Uh, I think for the um, for the ending improvisation. I'll just uh, you know play through the progression two times, um, and then just kind of see um, you know kind of see what happens. Um, I think if, if I want to go back to that um, kind of rock sound, I think I will. I think I'll go back to the rock sound. So I have to kind of manually uh, repatch this. Don't try this at home or train professionals. Well, thanks for listening and watching. Uh, have fun with these uh, different progressions and stay tuned for uh, part, th uh, part three, four, five, six, seven. So, so I have uh, 84, key, uh, 84 modes, uh, 12 major keys, seven modes, and they're all random. So this will give you a good sort of challenge of how to, how to play through uh, uh, different keys. So thanks for listening and watching. Once again, uh, do a improvisation here. Uh, Nothing planned. Uh, probably use a lot of the pentatonic stuff, but maybe throw in some some scalar stuff also.
Thank you.